Hi, this weekend I watched the film Reality, directed by Tina Satter and adapted from her play. It's the story of Reality Winner, an unusually named woman, who was an ex-US uh, Air Force uh, service person, um, had taken a job with an NSA contractor, and in 2017, uh, one day after work, was met at home by two FBI agents who were interested in searching her house. The film follows uh, in exact detail the conversation that Winner had with these agents and the other people at her home at the time, and it is in fact entirely drawn from an audio recording of the event. The situation is at first extremely Kafka-esque. The agents are by turns businesslike and friendly. They discuss her dog, making sure that her pets are properly cared for before she can be allowed into the house, but are also extremely businesslike and vaguely intimidating. We gradually uh, learn that it's because uh, Winner is accused of misappropriating confidential information and she has absolutely no idea what this means. And as time goes on, slowly the uh, power relationship shifts and changes. At least half the film, I feel, is set in a single room and is really a single continuous scene of Winner being interrogated uh, in a disused room inside her house. As her interrogators, the FBI agents gradually reveal more information about what they know about her. And she is encouraged to come clean about whatever it is that she has apparently done. We eventually discover exactly what it is that she is accused of, that um, she uh, had received or uh, had access to an NSA, an NSA communique about uh, proof that the Russian government had interfered in the 2016 presidential election and had allowed Donald Trump to become president. Winner believed that there was a public interest to be served by making this public, so she sent it to a uh, online publication, The Intercept, which then published it. But due to their pathetic attempts at uh, protecting their sources, it was traced back to Winner. The film ends with Winner being formally arrested and sentenced to five years in prison, although she has since been released and cooperated with the production of both the original play and this film although she said that she will never watch it as the events were far too traumatic. She has been proven right by history, of course. It's now well known that Donald Trump was effectively a puppet of the Russian government and put in the position simply so that they would have a, someone at the top level. This is not news, this is well known. But the way that Winner is treated, that she is uh, intimidated throughout, that she is, uh, although... Uh, physically very fit, and it's mentioned that she uh, is an uh, amateur powerlifter, she is not a large woman, and that she is continually framed as being a small figure amongst these much larger men is particularly intimidating. Um, it's a film about power balance, I think, um, the way that just because she believes that she must release this information as there is a a public interest, a, a right to know among the public that the president is the puppet of a foreign dictatorship. Um, just because of this, she is targeted as being a spy and was smeared in the press throughout, as we see later in the film. It's an extremely well-directed, extremely carefully modulated film. Sydney Sweeney, who I don't believe I'd seen in anything previously, although she's well known for the TV series Euphoria, uh, I thought was exceptional in the lead role, a very tight, controlled performance. Um, uh, Winner is clearly playing her, hand, her hands very close to her chest for much of the early part of the movie, and it's only later when it's revealed that, she, that they know everything about her and that there's no point in her continuing the charade of lying, that the dam breaks and her demeanour completely changes. Um, it's a very well-directed film, very well acted by a small tight cast, the two FBI agents are named, there are several other figures who appear at her house who aren't. Um, but um, it's a focused, very specific film that uses, I think, classic uh, elements of paranoid drama uh, in a very realistic modern context. And as a result, I found it an extremely effective, well-made and pointed film. It's also notably extremely tight. It's only an hour and 23 minutes. 
And as a result, I think I can recommend it very highly indeed.